Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise to commemorate Career Technical and Education Month. In the, uh, in the construction industry, I spent for over 40 years talking to young people in Georgia's 12th district about the benefits of working in a skilled trade. As we all know, a four-year degree is not the right fit for everyone, and oftentimes our skilled and technical jobs are among the most in-demand and high-paying in the workforce. With nine million unfilled jobs throughout our nation, it is imperative that we bridge the gap between the business and education communities, ensuring our students are equipped with the skills necessary to compete in this modern economy. The number one issue I hear about from business owners in the need for equality, quality, is the need for a quality workforce and, and career and technical programs offer young people an effective pass to filling in-demand jobs. This Career and Technical Education Month, we, uh, we affirm that the American dream is attainable and it's different for everyone. And I am thankful uh, for the educators and community leaders who remain committed to the success of America's future workforce. And I yield back. 